एंथर इज फर्टाइल पार्ट ऑफ स्टेमेन इन द एंथर मियोसिस में आकर टू प्रोड्यूस दी पोलर ग्रेन और माइक्रोस्कोस और इट में आप सुन रहे हैं मियोस्कोस माइक्रोस्कोस में आल्सो कॉल्ड मियोस्कोस इनसाइड द एंथर many microspore mother cells are developed and these microspore mother cell undergo meiosis to produce the haploid microspores so anther is fertile part of stamen how we can define the anther well protected microsporangia or pollen sac in a structure is known as anther the structure in which more than one microsporangia well protected by developing a cover that structure is called the anther you know the anther structure externally anther may be single lobe or two lobes Two lobes possessing anther is known as diathecus anther. This is the diathecus anther. When this anther transversely cut, transversely cut, then. This anther may show such type of structures, such type of structures may appear in the transverse section of the anther. When the diathecus anther transversely cut, then such type of transversely cut region of the anther shows the chambers inside the anther. such type of chambers of the anther known as pollen sac pollen sac and the pollen sac well protected by developing a protecting cover such type of protecting cover is called the anther wall anther wall so structurally anther may distinguish into two part one is anther wall and second one is pollen sac now when we magnify the anther wall it may show 
shows the different layers of the cell. Suppose this is the magnified structure of the anther. Magnified structure of the anther. It shows different layers of tissue. Inside the anther, these are the pollen sac magnified. The magnified pollen sacs absorb inside the Anther wall. Such type of pollen sac. Is well protected by developing cover. Around the. Each and every pollen sac such type of anther wall protects the pollen sac. These are the pollen sacs and this is the anther wall. Anther wall is protective cover of the microsporangia or pollen sacs. Now here, when we observe the different layers of tissue in the anther, the anther wall may distinguish into different layers of tissue. The outermost layer of tissue is known as epidermis. Epidermis is single layer of protective tissue developed on the surface of the anther. It is single layer and it may develop the openings and these openings are called stomata or singular stoma. Plural stomata. Plural form stomata. So an epidermis may help in the exchange of respiratory gases inside, outside. Exchange of respiratory gases may occur through the stomata and the water vapors may also exchange. So the function of the epidermis is protection of the inner 
layers of tissue of anther wall and exit of respiratory gases through the stomata this epidermis is followed by development of development of the fibrous layers of cell fibrous layers of cell such type of fibrous layers of cell this fibrous layers of cell or layer of cell developed inside the anther epidermis this is the fibrous layers of cell and this fibrous layers of cell is called endothelium endothelium this endothelium is hygroscopic in nature because it may absorb the moisture from the atmosphere and swells up the layer expand the wall of the anther due to absorption of water the anther wall may swell up or expand and during dry condition water may evaporate released liu from the anther wall so anther wall may contract so contraction and expansion of the anther wall leads to the loosening of the anther wall cell the anther wall cell may loosed and that loosening of the anther wall cells help in the dehiscence of anther the dehiscence of anther may occur in particular reason that dehiscence of anther occur in a particular reason that reason is known as stomium the anther wall dehisced in a particular place due to loosening of the cell anther wall cell loosed due to the contraction and expansion of the anther wall by the endothelium layer and develop the opening in the anther known as stomium so function of the endothelium is to protect the inner layers of tissue of the anther wall and mainly the endothelium help in the dehiscence of anther now the inner to the endothelium inner to the endothelium to do three layers of cell developed inside the endothelium to do 
थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ सेल एंड दीज सेल्स आर पैन कैमेटोसिन नेचर पैरेंट कैमेटस नेचर ऑफ दी सेल्स इन साइड द एंडोथीशियम हेल्प इन द रिटेंशन ऑफ वाटर और स्टोरेज ऑफ वाटर इन दिस रीजन वेर Two to three layers of parenchymal cells are developed. This layer of layers of parenchymal cell inside the endothelium is called middle layer. Middle layer. The middle layer of middle layer of Wall formed by parenchymatous living cell which possess thin wall, thin cell wall. So the cells are parenchymatous in nature, can store the water, store the food material, and avoids the desiccation of anther wall. so water may store in this middle layer but here at the maturity of anther the anther middle layer may disintegrate because at the maturity all structures of anther may develop and it is ready to leave the pollen grain or microspores from the anther after the hiatus so there is need not to store the water and store the food so the middle layer of the anther wall may disintegrate at maturity before maturity in the developing stage of anther middle layer may appear in the early developmental stage of anther middle layer may appear but in the mature anther the middle layer may disappear completely such type of middle layer help in the storage of water and uh, at maturity it may disintegrate how is the desiccation of anther wall during the developing stage of anther and uh, innermost layer of the anther wall formed by single layer of cuboidal cell Single layer of cuboidal cell, such type of single layer of cuboidal cell may develop the innermost of the anther wall. This single layer of cuboidal cells. of the anther wall is called the tapetum this layer of the anther wall is called the tapetum 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 cells are cuboidal in shape and it may possess more than one nuclei and it is most important layer of anther wall 
it is located innermost to the anther wall and this tapetum layer may provide the food material to the developing microspore mother cell of the pollen sacs and developing pollen grains so here the tapetum becomes nourishing layer of the anther food material may supply to the microspore developing microspore developing pollen grain and developing microspore mother cell present inside the pollen sac so innermost layer of the anther wall is tapetum so all layers of the tissue developed in the covering of the anther known as anther wall this is the anther wall this anther wall may by different layers of tissue this layer is middle layer middle layer it is parenchymatous in nature now here most important point related to the endothelium is endothelium cells regarded as developed by elaters 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 are fibrous cell may found in the primitive plants in the sporangia of primitive plants that help in the dehiscence of some sporangia so endothelium cell may also regarded as elater cells layer that help in the dehiscence of anther such type of anther wall protect the protect the innermost important cells of the anther or generative cells of anther may protect by anther wall and nourish the microsporangia and developing pollen grain so this structure which is enclosed by anther wall is known as pollen sac inside the pollen sac many microspore mother cells are present microspore mother cells these are the microspore mother cells microspore mother cells and these microspore mother cells from periphery microspore mother cells these are the micro spore mother cell these microspore mother cells are deployed in nature microspore mother cells possess two sets of chromosomes in the nucleus of each and every microspore mother cells so hence hence the microspore mother cells are deployed in nature the microspore mother cell undergo meiosis and produce the microspores and these microspore mother cell developed into pollen grains so many pollen grains so many pollen grains may produced inside the anther from the microspore mother cells by meiosis these are the number of pollen grains developed the inside the pollen sac from the microspore mother cell by meiosis 
So number of microspore mother cell undergo meiosis and produce so many microspore and polar grains. So such type of polar grains may develop the inside the polar sac, polar grains. These pollen grains may liberate during pollination after dehydration of anther wall with the help of endothelium layer. So here, microspore mother cells undergo meiosis from periphery, from periphery to the center. The meiosis may take place and. Uh, all microspore mother cell undergo meiosis produced so many polar grains at maturity such type of such type of polar grain polar grains may produce inside the pollen sac during during the during the meiosis the so many polar grains may produce inside the inside the pollen sac. So such type of anther wall may protect the developing sporogenous tissue. And uh, at maturity, pollen grain may be released after dehydration from the stromium region. So here what happened? The Anther wall protect the inner sporogenous tissue. The anther wall formed by different layers of cells, and uh, inside the pollen sac, microspore mother cell undergo meiosis and produce the polar grains. So here, what happened? The fertile part of anther. Help in the reproduction. Here, what happened? Hey, Baha, here we can see this structure the Nakoli line, but the other part Nakoli line. As a Buhan, we can see the last one. Here, one part Nakoli line. As a Buhan, here we can see the last one. Anther Mandeka, Anther Mande, Ja. Structure मध्ये माइक्रोस्पोरेजिया की वह पोलन ग्रेन्स सुरक्षित थोल्या जाता त्याह स्ट्रक्चर ला एंथर आसन मतलब जाता पाहा ये कितने एंथर दाखोले हैं एक अस लोग आसा पोगोटा एक अस दाखोले ला से करती तो जला मोनोजिकस मतलब अपन एंथर आने दो दाखोले ले आस्तीन तर जला डाइटिकस एंथर आता है सेक्शन वह भी हो Four pollen sacs distal. But monothecus center made a donor pollen sac distal. Monothecus center made a donor pollen sac But a high center are a transfer section on the bottom. Transfer section on the other cap hit level. Other cap hit level of the line, Yatikani, Mudre Bhak decided to be He was such a Bhak ahead in the upper day, was such a upper day, he was such a upper day. The couple of the sacks 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 वातावरणानुसार <coughs> मतलब जो लेयर आए हैं एंडोजेशियम जो मतलब पानी के मतलब स्लेयर सब सेल आए जाते कारण ये पानी साठों ढेर मारे पेशी आए 
वालों ने होना है अंतर during developing stage पर हे middle layer जा है हे middle layer mature जाले अंतर है अंतर हाँ नहीं सब तो हे middle layer नहीं सब तो कर पाने चीज गलत नस्ते पूर्ण सारे development जाले अंतर पानी उड़ून देना रहा तो भाग अस्तो कि अच्छा मधे connective tissue अस्तो vascular bundle सस्ता कि अच्छा मधे पानी जाते हैं अंतर filament पासना आणि इथं कनेक्टिव असतं या ठिकाणी हे कनेक्टिव टिश्यू असतं त्या ठिकाणी वास्कुलर बंडल पण असतं त्याच्यामध्ये आणि इथं पाणी पुरवठा काम करण्यास करतो पाणी पुरवठा करतं त्या ठिकाणी कनेक्टिव टिश्यू कनेक्टिव यूज म्हणतो आपण याला कनेक्टिव टिश्यू असतं त्या ठिकाणी आणि अशा प्रकारचे हे स्ट्रक्चर या ठिकाणी पाणी सप्लाय करतं या ठिकाणी फिलामेंट म्हणतो आणि पण या ठिकाणी पाणी साठवून ठेवलं जातं जास्त प्रमाणामध्ये की याला लागतं पाणी मोठ्या प्रमाणात मधल्या भागाला पोलन सॅक किंवा परागकणाची पिशवी म्हणतो आपण याला ही परागकणाची पिशवी याच्यामध्ये असते सॅक म्हणजे पिशवी या अशा पद्धतीने याच्यामध्ये प्रोटेक्टेड कंडिशन मध्ये असते आणि सगळ्यात मधला जो लेयर आहे इथं हा टॅपेटम म्हणतो आपण टॅपेटम म्हणजे अन्न पुरवठा करणारा त्याला नरिशिव लेयर म्हणतात नर्स म्हणजे नर्स सेल्स म्हणतो आपण त्याला म्हणजे अन्न पाणी जे काही लागते घटक ते घटक तिथं पुरवठा करण्याचं काम करत आहे टॅपेटम आणि मधल्या बाजूला जे पोलन सॅक मध्ये मायक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल ज्याचं नियोशिस होत त्या पेशीचा ग्रुप असतो त्याला जनरेटिव्ह सेल किंवा स्पोरोजिनस सेल म्हणतात आणि प्रत्येक मायक्रोस्पोर मदर सेलचं नियोशिस झाल्यानंतर चार पोलन ग्रेन तयार होतात ते आपल्याला शिकायचं आहे मायक्रोस्पोरोजेनिस म्हणतो आपण फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मायक्रोस्पोर फ्रॉम मायक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल बाय मिओसिस नोन ॲज मायक्रोस्पोरोजेनिसिस सो हॅप्लॉइड पोलन ग्रेन्स मे डेव्हलप फ्रॉम द मायक्रोस्पोर्स फ्रॉम द मायक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल बाय मिओसिस अँड सो मेनी पोलन ग्रेन अशा अनेक प्रकारचे पोलन ग्रेन यांच्यामध्ये निर्माण झालेले असतात ते कोणा ग्रेन्स होतात ती तुटपुटत आहे स्टोमियन तेव्हा कॉन्ट्रॅक्शन आणि रिलॅक्शन शोधून होतं असंच स्ट्रक्चर पूर्ण स्ट्रक्चर या भागामध्ये असतं इथं पण असतं हे पूर्ण असं स्ट्रक्चर इंटरवलमध्ये फक्त एवढाच भाग मी काढून टाकलेला आहे हे अत्यंत महत्वाचं आहे म्हणून यालाच म्हटलं जातं टी एस ऑफ बँकर टी एस हा एन्थ एन्थ ट्रान्स टी एस म्हणजे ट्रान्सफर सेक्शन ट्रान्सफर सेक्शन म्हणजे आढळला का हा यालाच म्हणतो आपण टी एस हा एन्थ टी एस ऑफ एन्थ ट्रान्सफर सेक्शन ट्रान्सफर सेक्शन म्हणजे आढवा का अशा प्रकारचं हे एन्थ चे स्ट्रक्चर्स याच्यामध्ये दिसायला लागतात आपण का घेतल्यानंतर सो वी हॅव टू स्टडी properly how to draw the figure in the examination how to explain the answer according to the marks one by one layer we have to dis distinguish or explain epidermis also to explain kala tachanantar endothecium tachanantar middle layer टॅपेटम आणि मग याला अँथरवॉल असं म्हणायचं सगळ्या कृतींना घेऊन अँथरवॉल म्हणतो आपण प्रत्येकाचं लोकेशन स्ट्रक्चर आणि फंक्शन सांगा आणि त्याच्यामुळे मग प्रत्येक पॉईंट बनतो आणि त्या ठिकाणी मायक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल्स कोणत्या भागामध्ये आहेत लोकेशन त्याचं त्याला पोलन सॅक का म्हणायचं कारण त्याच्यामध्ये पोलन फेल तयार होतात अशा पद्धतीचं स्ट्रक्चर हे अँथरचं आपल्याला बघायला मिळतं so we have to study properly if this video if you like subscribe thank you